Lost. Got the fixed work yesterday. Say too much and I get jealous. Hey, chicken legs. <laughs> My mesh is too airy, I'm freezing. Hey, guess how cold. Look at the view. We didn't see this last night because we came in rather late. Bikes are right there, by the way. How convenient is that? The room is over here. The bikes are over here. Yesterday's video, Mount Rushmore, very exciting, very emotional, very, it was very special for me. From there, the ride up northbound, up towards Deadwood, where we're at right now, was beautiful. It was just by sunset, we got to stop at a beautiful lake and the views on it were amazing. The reflection on the water was absolutely amazing. 350 miles today. That should be an easier ride, an easier day. Getting closer and closer to Yellowstone. Yeah, we're out of the room towards Red Lodge, which is uh, just the beginning point of uh, 212 where it, uh, Tear Tooth Highway starts. Stopping over there for the night so we can get up early. Hey, good morning, Danny. Get up early and do the pass, go through the highways, going southbound all the way down to the north part of Yellowstone Park. So we can go all the way down the next morning early through the pass, through Beartooth Pass, highway into Yellowstone, and probably gonna finish complete Yellowstone tomorrow. Slow, a late start. Talk to you on the road. to Wyoming. We just crossed into Wyoming. Then Montana. Soon we'll stop for, the, for breakfast. We just arrived in Montana. It was the shortest ride. Short. It was literally like a 10 minute, 10 minute ride from the minute we got into Wyoming and now Montana. We keep going west and west and we're gonna hit breakfast very soon. The bike is giving me trouble with the cruise control. I don't know what it is. Fueling stop after riding for 120 miles. It's actually absolutely nothing to see. Just stretches of farmland, both sides, all yellow, not even green. And you look as far as you can see to the horizon, all you see is a straight line.
another stretch of 100 miles. Straight lines, high temperatures, us and the bugs. Those pants were, were brand spanking new this morning. Really? I'm serious, dude. It's the, the people out there are the best. I just yeah. built this frame and stuff last year. I'll ask you, where are you from? Phoenix. Oh, you're from Phoenix. Where this you at? This bike is so old oh, school. Dude, I just, cool. yeah, I'm at like 40... Carson City. Oh, okay. That's great. Four degrees. Four degrees. Wow. 16. Very cool bike. I love it. Old, nice, old, yeah. old school and everything. What's your name? With the camera, Sandy. Yeah, Biker Ed from Phoenix. Yeah, I run a... Ant Biker Ed. I get a little bit breathless. My thoughts are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess I should have been honest. A break to my heart. It's weighing me down, baby. I'm like a river that's overflowed. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. I know you don't want to face it. You think it's too late. But I can see past the rain. Won't you lay it on me? Turn the bed. What? It always catches you by surprise. And then you're all wet, completely wet, right? Look at Danny. Look at this. Completely wet. Well, thank God we got a uh, hair, uh, hair blow dryer. We made it to the hotel and that rain really caught us big time. Some laundry have accumulated uh, eight, eight days of uh, dirty underwear and dirty clothes. Now uh, Danny, Johnny and myself going to the bike we got some information from the New Jersey crew. Helped us uh, look on the internet and figured out that maybe, and it does have to do with uh, the cruise control module, but that's what we're gonna do. Go and see if we can actually fix it ourselves before we have to go to Harley. The thought is that, you know, I just changed the bars and set, it, set up everything so that maybe when I was like resetting the mirrors, the controls, when I close this, maybe moving it a little bit, it did something in the switch over here. So we're gonna open that up and see. Maybe, hopefully that's the problem. Because we opened up the T25 over here and over here and the T27 over here and over here. Released this whole thing, came underneath on the bottom. On the bottom there's the, actually the wire, the braid, the whole... Uh, fix it. Yeah, I don't know if it's fixed, we'll know tomorrow. Well, does but it work? Yeah. I mean the light's off? Yeah. No, the light is not off. Yeah, there's a, there's a, a switch for the clothes. We saw, I cleaned it off oh, as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a switch yeah. over here. So we cleaned it up yeah. and we actually did see, we did see a little bit, maybe pinching on the outer casing. Maybe yeah. it's that. So the, the switch, I, and we also, John told us I to, told to John told us to clean up the switch over here, which also might be, explain why, what, what that switch does. It's for a couple of reasons, because obviously you got to, you know, so you pull in the clutch, right? The switch when you start it. And what does that do to the, that switch for well, the cruise control? Also, right? yeah. When you pull it in, the cruise control shuts off. Got you. So, so that's why, that's why it's probably that switch or a pinch wire or cut wire. Right. Because it's working, but as you're riding and you're going like this, maybe it's yes. doing something. And maybe there. because of the dust and the, and the heat or whatever. So we literally cleaned up the switch. It's clear. And as you see now, when it's pulled all the way, that's that might have been actually uh, caught or whatever. And also cleaned up the wire. And when we clo closed down the clamp over here, we made sure that the wire isn't being pinched and being pinched. But we'll only know tomorrow. Right now we're gonna clear up the code 
And let me show you how we clear up a code. If you don't know, actually it's a good lesson. So let me show you how you see, uh, go into diagnostics. Take a look at this. I'm gonna show you the code and I'm gonna show you how to clear it and then go onto the internet and find uh, what the problem is before you go to the dealership. So before the engine is actually started, you hold, I mean, before the bike is on, make sure you have the fob with you. Fob with me, click this and hold it. It goes into diagnostic mode. Now turn the bike on. Keep this pushed the whole time. And you'll see it goes into diagnostics. It's gonna show you C, D, I, A, G. Uh, let me stop the music again. It's in diagnostic mode. First click, it's gonna show us. It says ECM, yes. That means yes, there's a, there's a problem. What we do is we long click on it and then it's going to change and show you what the problem is. It's P0577H. Now what that means is H is history. That means that problem does not does no is no longer ex uh, in existence. Search up on the internet uh, Harley codes uh, and it's going to literally tell you what it is. This one I searched before. It has to do with the cruise control. So after you know what the problem is, if you want to clear the code, you long click on this. Long click. Now what you're going to see it's going to say cleared. I let go. One more uh, click and it's going to tell you what part number uh, is the one that had the problem. So when you go to the dealership or if you want to fix it by yourself, you know what that is. You can also look this up line, uh, online and find out what it is. Done with that, we do another click and it's going to go to the next uh, system to check. So I'm going to click on that. I click and it says ECM. No, it says end. There's no problem with DCM, so there's no reason to go into it. I click on the next one, and it says BCN or BCM. No, there's no problem over there either. One more click. The Speedo, no, there's no problem. And the ABS, no, there's no problem. Last, last push. ECM, we're back to the ECM, no. Which means we cleared up pretty much all the, all the problems. Last thing needed to do is tomorrow when we actually uh, ride the bike, we'll see if it occurs and we, or, or we actually solve the problem. Next thing you want to do uh, to get out of this is simply shut it off and now you're back to uh, the bike is shut down. And that's a quick short lesson how to di uh, diagnose what the problem is. Hope you learned something. Going back up to the room and fingers crossed the problem is solved. Hey, chicken legs. <laughs> hey, good morning. Bikes are loaded 100 miles north of the entrance into uh, Beartooth Highway, 212, 212. We're finishing up breakfast over here. Set it up to where we're uh, And you just click the button, it'll turn on. Yeah. <laughs> One of these highlight days, cool days, because we're going to be at the Beartooth Pass, which is supposed to be one of the nicest rides in America. That's what it says. That's what I've been told. And we're going to Yellowstone Park, the first national park in America. 1890 something, not sure. Not too many miles, but it's going to be a slow riding, under 300 miles, but it's going to be cool and slower pace because there are a lot of twisties going up and down, high elevations and stuff like that. Should be really cool. My boots were dried off last, uh, last night with a blow dryer, but I never did the helmet inside. It's a little bit either cold or a little bit wet but it's gonna dry up quickly. It's so dry over here. Once we ride, temperatures rise, everything is gonna dry up. But we're going up in an elevation, going up to Beartooth Pass, where it's about 10,000, 10 and a half thousand uh, feet. So oh, it should be chilly and uh, nice actually. The big test, fingers crossed that the fix worked yesterday. <laughs>
My mesh is too cold. My Guess mesh is cold. too airy. I'm freezing. Hey. Guess how cold? It 42 is 42. 42? I gotta get my real canvas jacket. I'm, my, my I'm shaking. Fucking... I'm freaking shaking. Holy <laughs> Dude, look at this. Quite a quite a climb, huh? Quite a climb. We're gonna be hit, uh, uh, hitting 10,500 about oh my at the God. peak. Ooh. Ooh, let me get my canvas out. Pieces of granite, literally. They're counting every the switch back to get up to the mountain and over. Oh, much better. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna leave here for a little while. I'm gonna suck it all in. And <sighs> Gotta take some pictures view, over I'm here. Telling you, I don't know if the camera's oh. gonna do it justice. Sandy, that's ice, look. Holy cow. Mini a little glacier. snow. Is there snow over there a little it's bit, like you a think? Mini glacier right there. What's the elevation? Do you know? Uh, over there will be 10,000 and a oh, half, to maybe 11,000. Oh, you read it? I read this morning, yeah. Get out of here. We're just Out enjoying, enjoying the moment, enjoying the, enjoying the scenery. How is it, guys? Oh, it's beautiful. Just, ah. en just enjoy the moment. Wow. I always say too much and I get jealous. I never hear you out and that is selfish. I always start the fight and you put the fire out I'm sorry for the way we left things I know you're hurting I didn't mean to start a war I'm Place to pitch up the drone John pitched it up and he's showing us the best views possible Oh my god That's where the landslide was right there Where? Right oh. there Right there All the way Look at wow. this shit. Wow. Done. Okay, we're done with uh, all possible, with all possible photographic options and uh, posing and views and shots. And we're gonna head to the pass itself, and then down south on 2 212 towards Yellowstone, the northern part of Yellowstone, entering the northern gate of Yellowstone, keeping down, uh, keep going down south, all through Yellowstone.